The creators of the cryptocurrency offering known as CryptoFX that targets the U.S. Latino community are Mauricio Chavez and Giorgio Benvenido. The Securities and Exchange Commission is hot on their tails and has ordered an emergency shutdown of their Texas-based firm. The SEC alleges that Chavez and Benvenido use the attraction and novelty of crypto assets to solicit money from investors. Chavez organized paid classes for the ostensible purpose of educating and empowering the Latino community to build wealth through crypto asset trading. It seemed like a noble cause until it was discovered that Chavez does not have a background, experience, or training in investments or crypto assets. In 2020, Chavez began holding the seminars, and instead of helping the Latino community, as he claimed, the workshops were allegedly a means of enticing investors to give money to crypto FX. It is alleged that Chavez then provided false documents that overstated his crypto experience and guaranteed investors would not bear any losses by trading crypto with crypto FX. Chavez claimed to have created multiple millionaires through his classes. Through the classes, CryptoFX attracted over 5,000 investors and raised more than $12 million. The SEC alleges that Chavez was actually running a Ponzi scheme. Rather than use investor funds for crypto trading, Chavez used more than 90% of investor funds to pay fake returns to investors, support his lifestyle, and purchase and develop real estate that he and Benvenido controlled. For his part, Benvenido allegedly solicited a large investor into the scheme and diverted investor funds to himself and a company that he and Chavez owned, CBT Group, LLC. In total, the SEC alleges that Chavez and Benvenido made approximately $2.7 million in Ponzi payments while diverting almost $8 million for their own use, including nearly $1.5 million that Chavez spent on cars, credit card payments, jewelry, adult entertainment, and a house in his wife's name. In the commission's complaint against them, the SEC accuses Chavez, Benvenido, and CryptoFX of violating or aiding and abetting violations of the anti-fraud provisions of Section 17A, of the Securities Act of 1933 and Section 10B of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 and Rule 10B-5 thereunder. The complaint also alleges violations of Sections 2061 and 2062 of the Investment Advisors Act of 1940 and 5A and 5C of the Securities Act. The SEC seeks permanent injunctive relief, civil penalties, and the return of ill-gotten gains with interest. The SEC also seeks to prohibit Chavez and Benvenido from serving as officers or directors of any public company. The court has issued a temporary restraining order halting their activities and freezing their assets. This is another example of the SEC's increased regulation of the crypto industry. In August, the SEC brought claims against 11 individuals involved in promoting the $300 million forsage crypto Ponzi scheme. So, will Chavez, Benvenido, and CryptoFX join the list of crypto projects dismantled by the SEC? Stay tuned. Cheers.